Oh, I don't know what happened to my throat there. Hey guys, John here with another Minecraft video. Today, I have something a little bit special for you guys. Now, you guys may not know this one little fact about me. Have you ever seen the TV show Doctor Who? Well, the people who really like that show are called Whovians. And you know what? I'm actually a major Whovian. So, it was really hard for me not to just, you know, change my skin for this video into the 12th Doctor skin. Because today, I will be doing a TARDIS in Minecraft video. Now, this is only sort of an add-on to somebody else's TARDIS video on how to build it. It's they made a video on how to build it to move around and how to like make the exterior everything you know but they didn't cover how to be able to spawn the TARDIS on command nor did they cover how they how in another video they made they didn't cover how they made the TARDIS leave like landmass behind so that it didn't affect the terrain too much. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. The link to their channel will be in the description. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, I'm also a major redstoner, so I made this little reveal wall, and it's pretty simple redstone with this anyways where when I pull this lever the wall drops and you can see it because this is just my sort of TARDIS build world TARDIS testing world where I built my TARDISes and all that and tried to figure everything out so without further ado pull this switch wall falls but my computer only has two gigabytes of RAM so it'll take a second to process that the wall fell as you can see, it's not highlighting any blocks, so it's going to be a minute. Ugh. And I'm currently at 8 FPS. 8 FPS. That's horrible. Yep. Fell into the void. Goodbye. And to make sure that I don't, like, fall into the void, because that's how clumsy I am a lot, let's just reactivate these pistons. See? Anti-death. But here it is. I sort of remade their interior of the TARDIS. If if you haven't seen their video yet, or if you'd like to see it, I recommend seeing their video before you look at mine. Because that would be a very, very good idea. Anyways, let's get started. I have the TARDIS exterior, you know. If you watch the video, you will understand everything that I'm saying in this one. So yes, do watch it. This is the home button that I've made. There's the TARDIS. I got gravity on, gravity off. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to be covering this. Well, for gravity on, you just do slash entity data at E type armor stand no gravity 1. That's simple. No gravity 1 as in it doesn't have gravity. But in this one, you put that last part as 0 instead of 1 to mean that there is no there is not no gravity on, so I had to title it a little bit for myself. And of course, like in their video, again, watch it, and that's the last time I'm saying it. Again, like in their video, I have this, it clones it around that TARDIS. Except I made it to where, oh, I, I messed it up a little bit. But in this TARDIS, they made a new video on their channel, and they're by the way, their name is Barbary Horde. I'm pretty sure that's correct. But in, in on their channel, they made a different TARDIS. Well, I'm going to be releasing a video soon with my TARDIS. I made my own TARDIS, too. But I will be releasing that TARDIS, hopefully. But as a set goal for you. But... I sort of made an add-on on my TARDIS off of their new video from their new TARDIS. I made it to where whenever... Let me just find it really quick. 
Oh, I didn't add it to this one, but I added it to my new one. It's where it teleports you up a little bit, because as you can see, it teleports you to the TARDIS armor stand entity. But, because the entity is inside the half slab... Oh! My, my Minecraft's trying to crash. Well, see how the entity is sort of in the half slab? Well, it teleports you to the entity, which teleports you into the half slab. So, like, if I turn no gravity on and fly high in the air... It would actually teleport me inside this slab, and I would fall through it, and if I was in survival, I would die. That's about it. That's all to it. But, without further ado, I bet you that what made you click on this video, I shall show you. Well, they didn't show you the replacement system for the ground, how they did the TARDIS key, or how they did the gravity, but I just covered the gravity, so, you know, I'm not covering it again. Well, how they made the, you know, the sort of land replacement system, I have this little plot over here, and I'm doing this exactly how they did, but, oh, I almost stepped on it, but one of these, I don't even remember which one, Ah, here it is. Well, this, there is this command block, and what this does is it clones whatever land is around the TARDIS, within the vicinity of the TARDIS where the exterior is going to spawn, it clones whatever is there into this little area here. So, you know, it's there. And it does that before it clones the exterior around the TARDIS. So when it clones the exterior around the TARDIS, it replaces all those blocks that's around the TARDIS. So that whenever you walk back in, on their old model, it had it to where it sort of just replaced all the uh, all the stuff around it with air blocks, which you know didn't really replace the land. So they're just air there. So no land where the TARDIS was, which leaves a big mark, and you know what, the doctor wouldn't like that, would he? Leaving a mark around town. So I made it to where whenever you step through on that on the TARDIS over there, I added another command block, but there's a, this is the clone of the TARDIS, where it clones that little section over there. It clones that section around the TARDIS entity here. What? It clones it around it where the, you know, where the exterior was. Minecraft keeps trying to crash. Darn recording. But, so whenever we walk back in, it clones whatever was there around the TARDIS, which currently is just air because, you know, there's nothing around the TARDIS. And that covers the land, sort of. Oh, no. Oh no, crashing. Uh, one second. Cool. I meant 9 FPS. 10 FPS. That's, that's bad. But here's the TARDIS key mechanics. Which I don't currently have the TARDIS key on because it was causing a little bit of lag. Which, now I'm thinking, you know, eh, didn't make a difference. But here I have my favorite version of, uh, clock. Which is just, a uh, you know, it sets the Minecraft redstone block underneath, one block underneath this command block, and then it just keeps setting it and then destroying it so that it keeps creating a redstone pools for this, which tests for a silverfish named TARDIS. Well, if we go over here really quick, I, because I didn't have anywhere to put it, I put the key giver command block here. So, see, it gives me a silverfish spawn egg named TARDIS, so whenever we place it in, it's just a silverfish named TARDIS. Well, this block tests for a silverfish named TARDIS. So whenever it does that, it pulses redstone. It makes a redstone power go through here. And then I have these um, redstone repeaters set up to where it activates this first, the second, this third, this fourth, this fifth. Because if they're if they're activated in a different order, like a backwards order or whatever, it'll get kind of messed up. 
So here we have have it to where it is cloning whatever is around the TARDIS around the entity. You know, it clones the it clones the terrain around the TARDIS entity as if you'd walked back in so that, you know, there's no trace of the TARDIS exterior. And then this one that goes second teleports the TARDIS entity armor stand to the silverfish named TARDIS. So that, you know, it's there with the TARDIS silverfish so that it's with you. And then here it kills the silverfish because, you know, you don't want a silver, random silverfish named TARDIS running around the world. That would ruin it. And then this clones whatever's around the TARDIS as in like the that goes with the terrain editing feature as well. It clones what whatever terrain is around the TARDIS whenever it gets there to that. So that whenever you walk back in, it clones whatever was there back again. And then this last one just clones the exterior of the tar exterior of the TARDIS around the TARDIS. So if I really quick turn this on with the block of redstone, it'll just keep pulsing. And if I really quick set this easy, because, ah, oh, dang it, it's night, flash times, if I can type, set day, it, as you can see, it's now day, but whenever I had it on easy, it would just keep spawning these, these creatures, and it made me mad, because they're annoying, oh yeah, and be, for the bet, so that this video wouldn't lag so much, I set all the settings the lowest as possible, but still lagging very bad. So now the skeleton does, has flame around it. And because this is detecting everything that I set it for, you can see the TARDIS around over here. Well, if I would place the silverfish whatever here, it'll teleport that, and voila! TARDIS! With me. And as you can see, visual glitch because of lag. Ugh. But here, I'm going to really quick show you an example of why I moved the terrain features in here. Well, if you're in a cave or whatever, and you don't actually want to leave a trace of the TARDIS, like a big square in the cave, and you're about to be killed, and you want to go fast, well, say I'm in a cave, and I spawn the TARDIS right here. Well, see, it clones the original terrain around where it was, so as you can see, whatever, there's no trace with the TARDIS exterior there, the TARDIS exterior is gone, and then it clones it, and then it clones the, it does everything and puts the TARDIS here. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, yeah it is, because look, it clones the exterior stuff around here, so if I walk back in, it clones that there, so if it would update, Oh, it'll update at some point. Yeah, there it is. See, it replaced, and this was another TARDIS that I was trying to make. It replaced that. But this, this TARDIS here that I have, it just like, clone, it clones this, it, this back over here, and it was just, you know, lame. And that this is just a TARDIS in here that I made just for the heck of it, so that I could test out this little machine doodad thing that I made. But as you can see, it replaced the land because TARDIS key works like that. I'll just put TARDIS key back. And this, that is literally about it for this video. So I recommend that you go to their channel, which should be in the description, and check out their video if you didn't already before the video like I suggested. But as you can see I actually did make it to where it, this can move around too. So I can move the TARDIS any way I want. Gross. And TARDIS key replacement system. I think I covered everything. So that's about it for this video. See all of you next time. This has been John DV, now signing out. Like and subscribe because the likes really help me.
and really keep me going on this channel. And subscribers, you just make me very happy. So, hey, look, there's a creeper. Oh yeah, and by the way, and I've been off the map for a while because you know, learning stuff. Now it's summer, so cool. More free time. I might post more videos. Make sure to leave a like. Bye. And make sure to subscribe. I'm not forcing you to subscribe. Just please subscribe and leave a like. It'd be nice. Subscribe. Goodbye.